Hey biggest users, Spencer here again, another tutorial. This tutorial we're kind of answering a question about uh, how to make multiple people in the same clip. There's uh, two basic ways you can do that. One is using a green screen as, as your regular background and then putting people, um, putting a person in that green screen and then putting a whole series of people in an image. Uh, here's a, and then the other way is by cutting the screen and manipulating so um, you have different parts of uh, the frame. I have a couple videos here to show you. Here's the first one. This is the, this is the type where we cut uh, right down the middle of the screen and we film twice and then uh, walks. This allows the person to like actually uh, kind of get into the really interact and like get shadows on the ground so that's this is the probably the better way to do it if you're only doing two people and everything else is uh, still alright and then the second one we didn't have a green screen we left it at my house so we tried a purple screen it super sucks uh, this is just to give you the idea um, we have I just copied him over under the the uh, purple screen and and then arranged him on different uh, sides of of the frame, and usually you put a backdrop, mountains or or something to actually um, have the environment to where they're they're acting. In this case, uh, I'm putting a chimpanzee background, um, just so you can you can see now. Imagine. Those are like nice trees or whatever, and now you have like your multiple two like people talking, you know, and that make more sense. But I thought I'd do a chimpanzee because everything else is already crap. Anyway, I'll show you how to do these now. Uh, the first one, relatively easy and relatively awesome. Okay, uh, let me find the clip. Here is the clip we're going to start out with. Um, I'm not going to use the sound for this, so I'm going to control or hold down U and click on the frame or on the, uh, the clip and then hit delete. I'm going to find the two places. Here's, here's uh, the, him in the car the first time in the driver's seat. Uh, he gets out and then I'm going to hold or hit S. That slices the frame. I'm going to find the second place where he gets in the other car. Alright, now in this case it doesn't matter what goes on top of what, but you're going to use these two frames and they're going to have to go on top of each other. Um, line it up. Let's try to line it up. You can look at uh, the first clip on top and you can line up. Okay, he gets out right about here. And you can go over on this side and hit the X. That gets rid of it. And we can see that he's getting out at around the same time. So that's good. Okay, so we have the clips lined up the way we want. Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now we have this tool right here. If the uh, event effects. And actually, uh, you can, you can uh, find it this way. I prefer going in here. It's just a lot easier to uh, to find because it's like one of the first ones. Uh, well, it's you're going to go to the cookie cutter. I'm going to use the square. Drag and drop the square to the top. Alright, now you have this square right here. Uh, what you're going to we're gonna do as you can see right here I have him getting out of the car in that square and the other one I'm just going to blow up the sizes now you can see oh look everything is uh, kinda making sense now uh, just blow it up and then put it in the uh, center of the screen using this thing over here I'm gonna line it up to the very middle of the car and then you go to the border and just uh, drag the border down to zero all right, and that's that's basically how you do the, the uh, two people thing. If they're in the car. It's gonna be a little choppy, but uh, you got the idea. Uh, as far as you have to be careful, your uh, balance. This um, where we cut it. There is a super slight uh, tilt in the car. You can see in the Toyota logo that 
it actually shifts a little bit. Uh, not noticeable if you're just kind of watching. It's, it's a cool effect and it works. Okay, the second one. In this effect, I'm sorry we don't have a green screen, um, but it's good enough for you to uh, get the idea, get the concept. Again, you go to uh, Event Effects, you can go to Chroma Key, Add, click OK. Alright, at this point, uh, just get the, uh, the little ink drop, uh, and then go to the screen, click on the screen, OK. And it gives you the color that you can now uh, kind of take out. And we have a kind of film war effect going, I guess. <laughs> um, not really. It's just a kind of sucky effect going on. All right. Ugh, God, that's good enough. Okay, now all I'm going to do is like control, alt, and make copies. You can also do this. Isn't have, you don't have to copy the image. You can have different people in front or the same person two different takes and have a conversation. The only thing is because you have a green screen, um, you put a backdrop behind them. It's going to take, a, instead of two, you're going to have uh, two green screens and then your backdrop that you'll have to add um, in a different one. Okay. So then I just go to the pan and crop. You already know how to do this. Uh, let's go like this and kind of drag them to one corner of the screen and they'll show up here. And then I did the same with the second one. Uh, and the third one and then I had a fourth one. But I'm kinda embarrassed to even do this because this is the crappiest thing I've ever presented in the video. English class is a different thing altogether. Alright. You so the idea if you have any questions or any ideas of uh, what what you want us to cover, shoot us a message, shoot us a comment. We'll uh, try to reply. Um, messages are better on our um, on our wall. We we can read those a little more. Or uh, go to our Facebook page, um, become a fan, and comment on that. We check that often. All right. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope that helped. Have any questions? Or if you are just certain that this video sucked and we actually need to get a green screen, I understand that too. Please trolls, don't bag on me for that. Alright, uh, see you guys later.